Hi guys, welcome to my channel Creative but Expressive. My name is Amy and today I'm going to be sharing six easy thrift store flips with you. A lot of times when you go into a thrift store, you'll find items that you like the shape of but you're not crazy about the color. Or you'll find a sign that's in your decor style but you wish the wording on it were different. Or you go into a retail shop and you fall in love with an item but it's just too expensive. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily change up those items to suit your style or how to recreate an item that you find in a retail store at a fraction of the cost using thrift store items. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, please stick around. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm so happy you found me. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and I appreciate your support. Now let's get started. So for our first project, we're going to be making this cute little um, glass milk bottle with the cute little cow on it. Um, for this project, I got this glass jar from the grocery store. It had some milk in it. I thought it was too cute to throw away, so I wanted to do something with it. So we're just going to take some white chalk paint and we're going to paint this glass jar. I think I did about three or four coats. Just paint it until uh, it's completely a solid white. And then once that's done, I also um, put a coat of matte Mod Podge on it um, just to protect the surface from being scratched. And now we're going to take this little uh, stencil that I made with my Icon Art stencil. Um, if you don't have an Icon Art, I'm sure you can find uh, a similar stencil, um, maybe Chocolate Chore or Amazon or on Etsy. Um, so anyways, I just put the stencil down and then I put painter's tape around the edge um, and now I'm just taking some black chalk paste and I'm just using this little scraper tool to um, completely cover the stencil with that chalk paste and then once that's done we just remove the painter's tape and we remove the stencil And that's all that there is to this project. Easy peasy. And look at how cute it is. Now for our next project, we're going to be making this beautiful Highland cow art. Um, I actually got the idea for this. I was in a, a store up in Prescott, Arizona, and um, I saw this beautiful picture of this Highland cow, but it was like $200, and I thought I could totally make that for way cheaper. Um, so that's what I did. So I got this image of this Highland cow off of Etsy for about $6. And then I had this frame already, my aunt gave it to me, and so I just, I cleaned the frame and I took it all apart, and now I'm just spraying it with some flat white spray paint. And then once I, I that spray paint is all dry, I also um, clear coat it with some protective uh, matte clear coat spray. And now I'm just taking um, some dark brown chalk paint, and I'm taking a, like a small chippy brush and I'm just brushing it over the frame in random spots just to give it like an age distress look to make it look like the white paint is chipping off and like wood is peeking through from the background. So I'm just putting it all over just in random areas where I think it would look good. And now I couldn't find um, a print size that was the exact size as the frame I had so I just picked the closest size that they had and then I'm just using the glass from the picture frame to measure out what size I need my picture to be and so I just mark it with the pen and I'm just cutting it down so that it'll fit inside my frame and now I'm just going to put it all back together I put the the picture in there first Oh no, the glass is in there first, sorry. And then that picture of my beautiful cow. And now I'm just putting the original picture and the original cardboard back in there. 
um, to go behind the cow. And now I'm just taking some brown craft paper and I'm putting it back on the back of this picture and I'm just hot gluing it down around the edges. And that's all there was to this project. Another super simple project, but I just think it is so gorgeous. My husband thinks I'm crazy. He's like, it's a cow. And I'm like, no, he's beautiful. It's not just a cow. He's gorgeous. I think he's gorgeous. What do you guys think? So for our third project, we're going to be taking this uh, sign that I found at Goodwill for $3.49. And um, whenever you find something at Goodwill, even if it doesn't, like, you don't like the saying on it, don't be afraid to buy it if you like the look, the overall look of it and the shape of it, because you can always remake it into something else. So I'm just taking this sign and I'm taking some ivory chalk paint and I'm just going to paint over the words on the sign and you just put enough coats so you can't see those words anymore and now I'm just removing my painters tape that I put around the edge to protect the frame and now I had some issues with this project and you'll see in a second here so I'm trying to I try to make a stencil with this vinyl which sometimes works really well for me and other times does not work at all for me and in this instance it does not work at all for me you'll see here <laughs> so I put the the vinyl down and I'm just weeding out the words so that I can use it as a stencil and then I put a layer of the ivory chalk paint over it to prevent um, any bleeding and once that's dry then I go over that with some black chalk paint and sometimes this works and it looks really great but in this instance I go to pull up the vinyl and for some reason it it's not working for me at all and it's it peels up the paint you'll see here in a second it just peels up the paint really really bad and I had I did another video and a, a viewer um, suggested putting a layer of Mod Podge down before I put the stencil down so I'm I think I'm gonna try that next time I want to do this but I did this before I got that suggestion. So here you can see it peeled up all my paint. So I ended up sanding all that off and painting it again with that ivory chalk paint. And now I just decided to just um, use my silhouette to um, cut the wording out on black vinyl. Now I'm just, it's on, I'm putting it on the transfer tape. And now I put um, a piece of parchment paper in between my transfer tape and the picture so that I could get the wording centered the way I want it before it sticks down. And then I remove that parchment paper and now I'm just burnishing it down with my um, Cricut tool. And now I'm just peeling up that transfer tape, and that's it. What do you think? I, I saw this saying in a on a kitchen towel in a gift store, and I just thought it was too funny, and I wanted to make it into a sign for my house. So that's where I got the idea for that. But what do you guys think? I think it's super cute. And it was another super easy thrift store flip. So now for this project, we're going to be making over these two vases. I also found these at Goodwill, and they're actually from Kirkland's originally. Um, you can see the original price, $39.99, and then they marked it down to $19.99, and then they ended up at Goodwill, and I think I paid about $4 each for them. So for my bigger one, I did like the color of this bigger one, but I wasn't a fan of that green one or the smaller one, so I decided to just paint them both so that they had the same finish on them. So the bigger one I painted white, and then this smaller one I am painting, um, I think the color is called London Gray. And now for the London Gray one, um, I'm taking some white uh, finishing wax, and I'm taking this little small 
chalk paint brush, I think it is, and I'm just um, rubbing it all over my vase with the brush. And then I'll go back in with a paper towel and wipe it off, wipe off that excess wax. And it's just going to leave uh, like the white and all the little grooves on the vase. And it also like gives like a kind of a whitewash effect on the vase itself. And now for the white one, I'm taking some antique wax and I'm doing the same thing. And this is the first time I've ever used this, so um, I was a little surprised about how dark it made the white. And I wasn't super happy about that because I wanted it to, to still have a more white, lighter look. I just wanted it to be brown and like those, the grooves on the vase. So now I go back in with that white wax and I'm rubbing that all over it. And I didn't know if this was actually going to work, but I just thought, why not? I'll give it a shot. So I put the white wax over that antique wax and it actually did work. It lightened it up quite a bit and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So here they are all done. What do you guys think? I think that was another, it was a super easy thrift store flip. So like if you like the shape of something, you can always make it over if it's not like the exact color that you want. So don't be afraid to buy something if you like, like the overall shape of it, but you're not a fan of the color. What do you guys think? So for this one, we're going to be making over this wooden bowl that I also found at Goodwill. And I like the color of the bowl, but it was, I wasn't happy with the, the, the sheen of it, how it was so shiny and glossy. And then it was also pretty scratched up. So I'm just going to take the whole thing and I'm just going to sand it down real good and sand off all that, I don't know what it is, varnish or whatever. <laughs> so I'm just sanding this down. The outside I was able to use. Um, an electric palm sander, but the inside I had to do all by hand, so it was a little bit of work. <laughs> so now the whole thing sanded down. I'm taking this linseed oil at the suggestion of my husband, and I'm just covering this whole bowl in that oil. So you just uh, put the oil on it, and um, I think it said let it sit for a few minutes about five minutes I think and then after that you you rub off the excess oil with a paper towel and now I'm taking this paste wax also at the suggestion of my husband but he did not tell me that it stinks really bad so at first I start in the house and I soon realized how bad it smells so then we moved to outside <laughs> so that the fumes don't make me pass out and so I'm just taking a um, steel wool sponge and you're just dipping it in the wax and just buffing this bowl really well with that wax. And then you take that paper towel again and you just wipe off the excess wax. And that way you have that, um, like the beautiful look of the wood and it's, it's, the surface is protected but you don't have to have that glossy varnish on it. I think it, it's a more like natural look and I like it better. And here it is, all done. Again, super easy, quick flip. It did take a little effort with all the um, sanding, especially the hand sanding on the inside of the bowl, but overall it was a pretty simple project um, that I think anybody could do. And um, it was pretty easy. And now we're already on to our last project. So this was actually a request of my husband's. Um, he loves the Andy Griffiths show, and this was a quote by Aunt B on one of the episodes. And so he was like, you got to make a sign with this quote on it. So here I am. I'm using this sign that I found at Goodwill for $2.49. It's originally from Hobby Lobby, and it was $15.99. So I'm just going to paint this whole sign um, with some white chalk paint. I paint the the frame of it too with the white chalk paint too, um, just so it all has that same finish. 
and that same look to it. And so you're just going to paint it enough coats until you can't see those words anymore. And then I just cut out, I designed the, the quote <laughs> on my, in my silhouette design studio. And so I'm just, I just weed the vinyl out and I'm putting it on my transfer tape. And then once it's on that transfer tape, we're going to take some um, parchment paper and put it between the transfer tape and the sign so that we can get it centered on our sign the way we want before it's stuck down. And then once it's centered the way we want, we stick down the top of that um, transfer tape. And then we're going to pull out that uh, parchment paper. And then we just burnish it down with that uh, scraper tool and remove the... Uh, transfer tape and now I'm just there was little grooves in that sign so I'm just um, using my weeder tool I'm not sure what that tool is called just to like push the vinyl down into those grooves and then I'm just taking a little hand sander and I'm just sanding around the edges of the sign just to give it a more distressed look the way it originally had and once I'm done with that I'm just taking some matte Mod Podge and I'm covering the whole thing in that matte Mod Podge just to protect the surface and that was it to this project super simple super easy and like i said if you see something in the thrift store that you like the overall shape of it but you you don't necessarily want the phrase on it or the color of it don't be afraid to buy it anyways because you can always remodel it and make it your own and that's it guys those are all our thrift store flips for today what do you guys think if you guys enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel and please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye something that you saw online that's too expensive I was trying to push through, but flopping over my words too much. What? I create a retail item using thrift store. I was trying to get through it, but I just couldn't do it. This is a cute ponytail. Like, I try to do this when I go out and about, and I can't do this. But it just worked out perfect today trying to do a bun and I was like oh my gosh this looks really cute I'll just go with a ponytail <sighs> why can't I get my hair to cooperate with me like this when I go out of the house where people actually see me well you guys are seeing me so I guess it cooperated for you guys <laughs> man I almost had it who else loves rainbow bright hmm? remember rainbow bright I used to have a doll when I was a little kid. Loved it. My friend, she dressed up as Rainbow Bright one year for Halloween, and I was so jealous. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be Rainbow Bright. <laughs>